Hey everyone, we're back with another ninja workout. So find some space and we're gonna get started with our warm up. Ready? Yep. Okay. We are just gonna do a warm up like we would usually do at the gym today. So we are gonna start with our jumping jacks. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, now we're gonna do 10 straight jumps. So arms up by your ears. Jump as high as you can. See if you can hit the ceiling. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Now we are gonna hop on one foot ten times. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other foot. Ready, go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Awesome. Last jump, we are going to try our jump full turns. So, <laughs> ready? Try to freeze. Awesome. Let's try five of those. Oh, my <laughs> shirt got stuck. Oh, God. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we'll do a little stretch. So reach up as high as you can. And reach down, touch your toes, keep your knees straight. Walk your hands forward, open pike. Push your heels to the floor. And bicycle your feet up and down. Good, now we're gonna walk forward to our plank shape. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do ten mountain climbers. Ready? Go. You guys can count on your own. Awesome. Now we're gonna stretch our wrists out. So roll them, <laughs> roll them out, roll the coaster. Shake them out. And we'll do our dizzy dog. Make sure you go both ways. Really take your time on this. You want to feel the stretch. Now we're going to put our hands like this. Put them down. Keep your arms straight and pull back to stretch your wrist. Good. And hands this way. Palms flat on the floor, straight arms. And last one, we're gonna put our hands to the side, go down and rock side to side. Very good. Now we're gonna go to our cat stretch. Pull your hips back. And from here, we're going to go up to our plank again. And this time, we're going to do 10 shoulder taps. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. <laughs> now we'll sit down and our pike. Reach up as high as you can. And reach forward, touch your toes. <laughs> Straight knees. Now to reach up again, and this time we're going to lean back, and we're going to do five lemon squeezers. So bend your knees up and back. Two, three, four, five. Very good. We'll put our feet down in our straddle now. Straight knees, pointy toes. Reach up tall. Turn to your right, and belly down to your knee. Good, reach up again, turn to your left, belly down to your knee. And last one, reach up and belly to the floor. Very good, shake those legs out. And we're gonna do our tabletop now. So feet up, straight arms and belly up to the sky. Try to keep your knees together, hips up higher. Awesome. Relax for a second, and then we're going to do it one more time and try to lift up one leg in the air. So hips up 
and lift up one leg. Don't let your hips or belly fall when you lift that leg. Go and put that one down, try the other one. Awesome job. Now we're gonna rock and roll. So give your knees a hug and go. Very good, keep your feet together. Good, and on this one, we're gonna try to stand up without our hands and keeping our feet and knees together. Ready? Oh, my knees came awesome. apart. <laughs> my knees came apart too. Okay, I think we are ready to go. So we are gonna get started on our conditioning today. You're gonna need either a book, that's what I'm gonna use, and then like a, if you have a weight at home, that would be awesome, or just a soccer ball or some sort of stuffed animal. So our first exercise is push-ups. But we're gonna try them with one hand on the book, one hand on the floor. This makes it a little bit harder because you have to get your chest lower. So I'm gonna try some like this. Chest down. Wow, GG. And then from here, you're gonna switch. To Notice how side. she keeps in her tight shape even when she's walking her hands. And back over. So that was one. So one on each side, back and forth is one. I want you guys to try 10. And then if you wanna get super fancy, you could try to switch really fast. I don't know if I can, I'll do it for my knees. <laughs> like this. Nice. So yeah, if you need to, if you're not able to yeah, keep so that tight shape, I was using my knees, knees on that one. And that just helps you keep your shape, tight shape because we would rather you do correct push-ups with your knees and then incorrect push-ups without your knees. So, 10 of those, so back and forth is one, then we're gonna come over here and we are gonna do everyone's favorite wall sit today. So bend your knees, make sure you're not like this. Your knees have to be bent. So her knees 90 are 90 degree foot. angle. I think back you can get a little lower. The there we go. Back against the wall, tight belly, and if you wanna challenge yourself, you can lift your arms up by your ears. Push them to the wall. There we go. So you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Squeeze those Ooh. knees together. Good job. Is anyone counting? Seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Awesome. Good job. It's really great to try to keep those arms yes, all the way back to the wall. Harder. It works your arms and it works your shoulder mobility too. Okay, and then important. the last exercise in our conditioning for today is sit-ups. So Abby, do you want to do those? Sure. So she is going to try to use a weight, but if you don't have a weight or if that's too hard, you could just use a soccer ball or a stuffed animal. How would you like them to have their feet? However you want. Abby likes to do her feet like this, butterfly. But if you have someone with you, they could hold your feet like this. Doesn't matter. Whatever's more comfortable for you. So I'm going to hold this to my chest. I don't want to let it get in front of me Yes, like it has this. to stay at your chest. I'm giving it a hug like this. This will force me to keep it here. I go all the way back and all the way awesome. up. Awesome. If I do it like this, the weight's kind of pulling me up there. Yes, it has to stay at your chest. Can you do one more correct one? See how she's hugging it so it stays right there? Go all the awesome way forward. job. Very good. So you're going to do 10 of these also. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So we are going to move on to our next thing. But at home, I want you guys to go through that whole conditioning circuit three more times. So the 10 push-ups with one hand raised, 30-second wall sit, and 10 sit-ups, okay? The next thing we're going to get to is our skill that we're going to work on today. So I'm going to use two books again because we don't have a bar here. But if you have either like a, a little bar or just a straight line on your floor, you could use that. So we are going to work on some squat arm drills because I know a lot of you ninjas like to jump to the high bar. But in order to do that, you need to learn your squat on. So I'm going to put one hand on each book, a little space in the middle for my feet, and I'm going to start in push-up position and jump my feet to the middle and then stand up straight jump. Just like that. So I want you guys to try 10 of those. So she's nice and controlled when she gets her feet in the middle. Up and jump. You want to make sure that when you jump your feet up, you're not going like this with your butt up in the air because that's going to make you fall backwards. So you want to be in a little squat like this. Jack, how about you come over to the side so you can see that? Yes. 
So pretend that I'm on the bar. My hands are on the bar. I cast up to my push-up position. Feet come in, butt down, and jump to the high bar. Just like that squat position we practice when we warm up. Yes. Okay, so that's the skill we're working on today. And then the last thing, how many times have I been doing the skill? 10 times? 10 times on the okay. skill. The last thing, I'm gonna make a little course at home and I want you guys to do that too. You can either do the same one as me or you could be creative and make your own. So, all I did was put three pillows out and I'm gonna use the couch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on one foot and try to hop over all the pillows. You could do it with me. Okay. Over all the pillows. Then we're gonna come over to the couch. And on this end, I'm gonna do three dips. One, two, three. Walk all the way to the other end. And three more dips. One, two, three. Awesome. Good job. Now the next time around, I'm gonna hop on the other foot. All the way over the pillows. Good job, let's see Abby's. And on the way back, we're gonna do our handstand walk. So hands down, butt over your head, and walk. Very good, Abby. Whoa! <laughs> and awesome. the last time around, I'm gonna change it up, I'm gonna do frog jump. So all the way down, stand up, jump. She gets her butt all the way down to the floor. Well, almost to the floor. <laughs> Let's see yours. Oh. Awesome, and this time on the way back, we're gonna change it up a little bit and I'm gonna try to lift one foot up in the air on my handstand, like this. So our hands move, then our foot moves. <laughs> that one's a little bit tricky. Awesome job, Abby. Ah, I'm sliding. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so be creative. You could either use this and add more to it, or you could use whatever you have at home and make up your own course. And then make sure you send us a video of you doing it with the hashtag stay balanced. And also remember to do the squat on drills that I showed you and the conditioning circuit three more times. And make sure to send us pictures and videos. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good job.